AK Geeks. Hey everybody, welcome to AK Geeks. This is Real News. I'm your host, Sean. Let's get right into it. First up, Jay Brunschel. You guys know him from stuff like Man Seeking Woman, the, This Is The End, uh, 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 She's Out Of My League, and one of my favorites, uh, Goon. Well, actually, this has been talked about for a while now, but Goon is getting a sequel. It was quite a nice surprise hit, at least for me, and uh, a lot of people that I follow, it was a surprise hit for them as well. It, it was a good movie, I really enjoyed it, but and it's been in the talks now that they're going to make a sequel. Well, he announced this week that he, the, the sequel is in fact happening, and in fact it's already been filmed. It's coming out in March this year. Um, I just want to bring this news to you guys because I think that Goon is a movie definitely worth watching. Son, Sean William Scott did uh, an amazing job for what we know of him, like he's a comedic actor, but this one he actually put some oomph into it, you know? And so it's a good movie. I'm definitely excited to hear that this film is finally going to actually be coming out. It's already been made. It's tangible. It's something there. So I'm really happy about this news and I'm looking forward to March already. On to the next piece of news, Starship Troopers. This was that, uh, I guess you could say it's a cult hit from back in the 90s. I really love that movie. I thought it was amazing. All the things about it, everything about it. MPH is in there. And uh, the movie's awesome. Columbia Pictures is going to be rebooting this franchise. It's going to be directed by Paul Verhoeven. And I am really looking forward to this film. It's going to be based more so on the book that the original franchise was based on. This film will not be a carryover, a sequel to the first franchise, but purely based on the book. I'm definitely looking looking forward to this. I want to see what they're going to do with uh, CGI, with the war scenes, how much of an upgrade it's going to be uh, in looks wise, but also with the quality of film. I hope it's not a cheap, you know, sci-fi movie kind of knockoff reboot. I really hope it's quality. They put some time into it because this is a film I definitely would go see opening weekend. All right, now let's jump into some Marvel news. This is concerning Fox Marvel. Fox has announced that they are working on Deadpool 3 already. Uh, Deadpool 2 hasn't even started filming yet. They don't even have a director unless they I haven't heard if they actually have decided to go with the John Wick director, but Deadpool 3 is already in the works. They're, they're already got a plan for it, and in Deadpool 3, they're going to have a story of Deadpool, and it's going to contain the X-Force. They're going to announce, they're going to introduce us to the X-Force. I'm really interested in that. I, I'm definitely happy with this route. Instead of trying to make a full-blown X-Force movie, first and foremost, you know, introduce some of the characters, show us what X-Force is a little bit, and then we can dive into it later after we have an affinity to these characters. That would be really cool. Also announced this week that Simon Kinberg, he's been writing a lot of stuff for Fox for their Marvel uh, properties. He is going to be working on rebooting the X-Men franchise. He's going to be working on a script. And, and essentially where this new reboot is going to go. He's going to be leaving room in this supposed script for James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, and Jennifer Lawrence for their characters supposedly to reprise their roles. I am of a different mindset for this. I'm at the point that if you're going to reboot this franchise, which you've already done a soft reboot of, if you're going to reboot it, just reboot it. You already have a movie next year starring Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart, Logan, where it looks like this is going to be the end of the timeline at least. How about we go from there, let that close, let, let let that book end all these 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 awesome X-Men movies that we've got and and let's start anew with going off of the Deadpool franchise um, that would be awesome I wish they could do that you already have a, a, a lighter tone but at the same time you can still have serious stories and at that point you can then recast all these characters you won't have any confusion of who's who and what's what of what stops where and what starts where I think if you're gonna do this reboot you gotta do it you gotta be in all the way. You can't do a soft reboot again. This is what's been stated, and that's what they're thinking about. Like what I said about keeping the door open for these characters, just shut the door, let's move on. It's been a great run, I've enjoyed all those movies, but there's a there's a point where we're kind of at the end of this, this roller coaster ride. All right guys, now jumping into actual MCU news. Kevin Feige had a few interviews this week and he stated a few things that I think everybody should know regarding the state of the MCU. First off, Phase 3. We still have quite a few films left in this Phase 3. It goes a lot longer than you think. I think there's about 7 or 8 films left. As of right now, we don't exactly know uh, the public. We don't know where Phase 4 is going. But, Kevin Feige said, fear not, we do know where we're going with Phase 4. We just can't talk about it yet because it would be a bit spoilery for uh, what's going on still in Phase 3. I appreciate the honesty. I thank I thank him for letting us know that. And, and I, I do think it's true because I don't want to know who lives and dies at the end of Infinity War. I want to be able to go in and be surprised. I don't want to be like, oh yeah, well he's in Phase 4 so he can't die. This week he also had an interview where he confirmed who a few actors are in a few movies. Uh, Michael Keaton in Spider-Man Homecoming. 
I'm really looking forward to this movie. Tom Holland did great, but Mike Keaton, we've been wondering, who is he going to play? Who is he going to be? He is going to be the Vulture. It had been rumored that he was going to be the Vulture, and it is now official. Also, Kate Blanchett, she's been uh, on the Thor Ragnarok movie for a while now. Who is she going to be? She's going to be Hela. Again, that had been rumored as well. I really look forward to these actors in these roles. I think that they're both great actors, and I I'm just really excited for this. I'm, I'm excited to now learn who they are playing to see where these... I can theorize even more now, so uh, to see where they're going to go. I'm really looking forward to these films. All right, guys, now on to the trailer segment this week. This week, there are two trailers that caught my attention. First off is the movie Office Christmas Party. This film looks like it is going to be a really good Christmas comedy. I'm so happy for this. Last year, we had um, the, 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 the Night Before with uh, Seth Rogen and, and those guys. And this one is starring uh, T.J. Miller, uh, Jennifer Aniston, uh, Jason Bateman. Um, I'm looking forward to this film. In this trailer specifically, they show you more about the story, about why the party is happening. And I'm just, I'm really, I'm already in. I'm going to go see this movie when it comes out. They already have my 10 bucks. I, I think I pre-ordered my ticket while we were filming this. And the next trailer that caught my attention is for the movie called uh, Valerian and the, the City of a Thousand Planets. Now, if you have ADD or ADHD, this trailer is perfect for you. Perfect for you. This trailer's beautiful, wonderful CGI, wonderful imagination, but it doesn't tell you a damn thing about the damn movie. Um, I definitely loved all the CGI, the CGI that's going on in the trailer. I definitely loved what the possibilities that could happen in this film are, but I don't know anything about the film. Um, it was beautiful. It was always going on to the next cut every two seconds. So, for like I said, for those of you with short attention spans, and this is the trailer for you. This film is starring uh, Cara Delevingne and Dane DeHaan. Um, so yeah, we have a great actor in Dane DeHaan. Uh, I am not so fond of Cara Delevingne, um, but it looks interesting at least. It looks like it's full of imagination. It's very colorful, beautiful CGI. So uh, let's see some more trailers. I want to find out more about this movie before I am totally in. All right, guys, and now onto the in theater segment. This week, there are three movies that caught my attention that are hidden theaters. First off, you have Billy Lynn and The Longest Halftime Walk. This film uh, it takes place on a football field. But within him walking to be honored uh, during a halftime show, I guess it is, he starts having flashbacks and uh, images going through with what happened with why he's where he is. The concept of this film, it definitely has me attracted to it. I'm definitely interested in this film. I don't know if I want to see this one in the theaters. I think this is something more for me for Redbox for Movie of the Week in the future as soon as it comes out. But um, it's definitely interesting. I'm looking forward to this one when it comes out. We are getting to that time where Christmas movies are coming out, so we have our first one this week, at least in my opinion. It's called Almost Christmas. This was starring Danny Glover, Gabrielle Union, and a bunch of other people. Um, it looks interesting. It looks like there are some funny moments in the trailer. Um, this, again, is not something I would go see in theaters, but something I would get from Redbox or Netflix when it comes out. But there is that. I love Christmas movies. I, I just love seeing that time of year. Even though it's fake snow, I love seeing that on the ground in the, in the films. And last film that comes out this week that definitely caught my attention is called Arrival. This one is starring uh, Jeremy Renner, a Amy uh, Adams. This one looks amazing. I'm hearing nothing but good reviews about it. And I'm really, really looking forward to this. I really want to go see this one. I think you guys should too. It's uh, Thinking Man's Independence Day, I guess you could say. Um, no Will Smith, no Harry Connick Jr., um, no Jay uh, Usher, whatever his name is. And so uh, I am really looking forward to this film. I definitely want to see this film and hopefully I get to see it before it's out of theaters. All right, guys, so that's it for this week's episode of Real News. Remember to go check out the AKA Geeks podcast on iTunes, Spreaker, and Google Play. Remember to check out all of our social media sites, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, uh, YouTube. And for this video, you guys, I'm done for today. Remember to click the like, share, subscribe buttons down below. Leave your comments, questions, suggestions in the comment section. Let's have a great conversation this week about all the topics I covered. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. AK Geeks.